Hello, my name is Kamudi and I'm from the product marketing team here at Workado. We are so excited to share some of the key features of the new recipe editor. The newly designed editor simplifies UX and enables you to build faster. We are continually making updates to remove the extra click, extra decision, and the extra second you have to spend when designing, deploying, or operating recipes. At number one, we have quick starting points to make it easier to find a starting point for your recipe and the automation you want to build. These starting points include trigger from app when you want to run from a certain application, such as when a new issue is created in Jira. Run on a schedule, which runs the event at a certain time. Trigger from a webhook, which is not just pulling data, but you want the application to push data in real time. Manage other recipes so you can build monitoring tools to automate your operations. Build callable recipes by building reusable functions to use across. Build an API endpoint, which exposes business data in a secure way. And by using Slack, by building a custom application bot. The second feature is the Power Up Toolbar. The Power Up Toolbar found in the Trigger Action Setup can help group map data. Here, we can choose the fields we want to map in the Google Sheets action. I will select Show Optional Fields, and then I will select All. As you can see, there are a lot of fields that need to be mapped, but we can use the Group Mapper in the toolbar to automatically map the data. Here, we select the columns to map it to, and the data source. I'm using Google Sheets as the field group and Salesforce as the data source, since it's mapping information from Salesforce. Once this is selected and applied, you can see it automatically identifies the field. After selecting Applying Mappings, you can see all the fields found were mapped in your recipe to the correct columns. One of our core product and design principles is focusing on making it simple for first-time users to learn and get started. The newly designed recipe editor guides you through every step to make it easy to complete the next step or navigate back to review, change the palettes or apps, make selection of application for triggers or actions quicker. All your connected apps and all other relevant apps can be viewed in a single glance. At number three, we introduced a step-by-step -step guide which can be found at the top of your recipe builder. When you're working on configuring a trigger in action, this guide will help you know what step you're on, going from app to connection to action. Here, you have an app. Let's say that you want to change this. I'm changing it from Asana to Airtable. This is now easy as you can go in any direction and change the application, and then go to your action. The first step is choosing the app, setting up the connection, and then choosing your action for the app in my case, is create record. After setting up my action with the respective fields, I can see how easy it is to move back and forth from the various panels. Part of building a high quality and robust automation is rigorous tests you put it through before going live. By integrating recipe design with testing, we have made it easier for you to test changes you make to your recipe faster. At number four, we have our smart error checklist. The Smart Error Checklist provides us with a quick summary of errors. We have made it easy for you to identify which steps have errors, so as you go into these steps, you can see the things that you need to fix. Let's look at an example recipe. When we test this, two errors are shown with the line number. In our case, it's lines 3 and 6. Here, we made it easier to quickly navigate to the sections of the error. As you go into these steps, you can see exactly what needs to be fixed. Here, I can see in line three, a required summary is missing. So I map the Salesforce subject to complete this field. Then I save the recipe. As you can see, once I save the recipe, the error in line three ran away since it's resolved. Now I went to line six and saw that the workplace ID in Asana was missing. I filled it out, saved it, and the error in line six is also gone. Now, when saving our recipe once again, we can see that no errors are present. Collaborating on projects often requires multiple Workado chefs to be able to make changes to the same set of recipes. We are introducing a new set of safeguards that makes it easy for multiple chefs to collaborate and prevent unintended changes. The fifth feature is view and edit mode. I'm going to review a recipe that I've built and make some changes. By default, the recipe opens in a view only mode 
and you can access the logic, mapping, and flow, but can't make any changes to the mapping. Let's say you want to make a change, if something doesn't look right or you want to change a certain mapping. Here, we can go into edit mode and make your changes. Click on the edit button on the top right. Then, I scroll down to the field that I wanted to change, which was the date. Here, I changed the date of my mapping from created to last viewed. After changing the date from created to last viewed, I saved the recipe. After saving, I exited my recipe builder and I can see that it's back to view only mode. When you're reviewing the business logic, data flow, or mapping data, we have made it easy for you to find the information you're looking for faster. The sixth feature is a resizable data tree. When you're building a recipe, using a data tree can help you map various fields in your automation. The newly designed data tree is smart. You only see it when you want to view data. We've given you the control to resize it as you minimize, default, or maximize the tree. As you get ready to map pills for your automation, you can see which map fields are available based on what step you're on. Additionally, comments that appear in your recipe builder on the left are shown in the data tree, making it easy to recognize which step the data is coming from. Here, we can also resize it from normal. We can maximize the data tree view when we need to, when we need more viewing space to read descriptions or browse nested data structures. In Workday, we can maximize our data tree to view various nested elements, such as personal data or compensation data. Or we can minimize the data tree to see what we've already built in our automation. You can control whatever size data tree fits your needs. And finally, the editor is now available in a canvas that lets you zoom in and out. So if you have a long and complex recipe, you'll be able to customize how much of it you want to see in the viewport. These features found in the newly designed recipe editor enable speed, simplifies UX effort, and redefines collaboration. Happy automating!